What's up guys, it's Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com. We have Miss Spidey here with me. She is my G. Rosea and she's actually invisible to you guys right now. She is in her little tunnel area underground. Um, this is called like her glass dome and she has been in there for a few hours. I'm hoping that she will come out at some point during one of my videos today, but she might also just wanna be cozy and stay down there. Sometimes she likes to stay down there for days at a time. So anyway, today I wanted to talk about um, Miracle Tarantulas. I get a lot of comments and questions from newer tarantula owners, especially those who are just going through their first molt with their new tarantula. And sometimes these molts don't go according to plan. I will say that the majority of molts go perfectly fine with no problems, have very healthy spiders. But sometimes things do happen, or we might come home from a pet store and realize that one of our, our tarantulas doesn't have all of their legs, or you know maybe they weren't completely healthy to begin with and then they have a bad mold. So I wanted to share a few instances of some really amazing tarantulas that have actually survived some really crazy circumstances. And I share that to say that even if your tarantula has a bad mold, that is not the end of the world for them and it's not the end of their life and it's not the end of your journey as a tarantula keeper. A lot of times when our tarantulas do have a bad mole, it's not because of anything we did. Um, now yes, sometimes there are people who interfere while their tarantula is molting because maybe they don't know that they're molting or they accidentally leave a feeder in there by accident and the feeder ends up eating the tarantula. Um, but a lot of the times, it has nothing to do with anything that we did or not do. Sometimes molting is just really, really hard. And uh, particularly the really young tarantulas and the very old tarantulas have a pretty hard time with this. Um, if you were to think if you were to shed all of your body parts at once, that would probably be pretty hard too. A lot of things could go wrong. Now, this video isn't really about how to save your tarantula from a bad molt. I do have other videos on my channel about that, you know, how to intervene, when you should intervene tarantula first aid in case your tarantula does have a bad molt and you need to cut them out. This is about tarantulas who have actually made it out of their molt completely, but for one reason or another, maybe they couldn't keep all their legs or parts of their body didn't quite make it. Uh, there have been a few reports about tarantulas molting and not having their fangs or even tarantulas having fangs that are a bit deformed or something strange is going on with them. So. These are about tarantulas who have gotten through the molting process, survived, and while many tarantula owners might have given up on them and kind of lost hope, these tarantula owners in this situation did not. And I just wanted to highlight these tarantulas because it shows that tarantulas are truly amazing and what they can live through is just miraculous. So while we're actually talking about not having fangs for tarantulas, there have been quite a few reports, um, YouTube channels that have actually shown the process of their tarantula having molted without their fangs and the process of that tarantula surviving and then making it to a healthy molt or being on the way to getting their fangs back. I can't think of any particular channel or story off the top of my head but I will certainly leave a few videos in the description below that you can check out to kind of see what these tarantula owners did. The amazing thing about tarantulas is that even if they have several body parts that are messed up throughout a molt, they have the opportunity in their few next molts to actually regenerate those body parts. It's so amazing how they can do that. And sometimes a tarantula will even go through an emergency molt where they will molt sooner than later. Their body will just kind of force the molt so that if they are really affected by those body parts that didn't make it in the molts or were deformed, that they have a greater chance of recovering those lost body parts or correcting those lost body parts. So as you can imagine, if your tarantula has either deformed fangs where they can't really use their fangs because they didn't come out of the molt okay, or maybe you receive from a pet store a tarantula who didn't have any fangs, sometimes that happens and that's very disturbing because tarantulas really can't survive with their, on their own without their fangs. Um, but tarantulas in captivity, if they have an owner who's really invested and wants to see, wants this tarantula to, to see it through, their next few molds until they can eat on their own again, it is entirely possible. There have been several owners who've reported on their journeys either on YouTube or Facebook groups 
who have really taken it upon themselves to like pre-kill the tarantula's food or kind of make like a bug soup and actually feed their tarantula with either a Q-tip, kind of putting it up to their mouth, um, kind of almost like like a baby, like feeding the tarantula like that. And these tarantulas actually do make it. If you have got the time and the willingness to spend on your tarantula who is in this position, they can recover. As long as you are finding some way to get those nutrients in, they will make it to their next molt. And hopefully either in that next one or a molt after or a molt after that, they actually have full use of their fangs again. So it's really, really amazing what these creatures could do. But I definitely did want to also highlight one of my favorite and most inspiring stories about a tarantula who really made it through some pretty interesting circumstances. And you guys might actually know because I, this tarantula was kind of famous. They had a Facebook page and everything. Um, this was called Bob the Disabled Tarantula. That was the Facebook page. I believe they changed it to Bob the Formerly Disabled Tarantula because uh, this tarantula actually did make it to see um, their life with full use of their body and legs. It's really, really amazing. But this was about a tarantula, an OBT, who had actually gotten out of their enclosure. And unfortunately, they got stuck on a sticky pad for ants. So be mindful of this. If you have traps for other bugs in your house, if your tarantula gets out by accident, they could actually fall prey to these things too. Um, so this was a pretty bad situation for Bob, the tarantula. And fortunately, their owner was able to save Bob and remove them from the sticky trap or whatever it was, the glue, the glue pad. Unfortunately, after this though, and you know, it's amazing that Bob even survived this much. Bob only had one leg left. So Bob was basically a body <laughs> and one little leg. Um, and it, you know, I'll put some pictures on here from the Facebook page just to show you just what a situation this was for Bob. And the owner of Bob actually took it upon themselves, and I'm so thankful for it because it's such an educational moment for tarantula owners to document Bob's journey through getting their legs back. This took several months, but Bob's owner was really uh, wonderful and caring for them. Bob's owner would pre-kill all of their food, and um, luckily it seemed like the fangs were still intact or that they could still eat as long as the food was pre-killed. And so through this Facebook journey, the documentation, you can actually see Bob with every malt getting healthier and regaining their mobility and more legs and actually make it to looking like a completely healthy tarantula you would have never known that at one point they had had all of their legs cut off or removed because they had been on a sticky trap and that is a circumstance that many tarantulas wouldn't have survived so it was obvious that bob had the will to survive and that bob's owner also did not feel like giving up on him and so um, Bob made it to being back to himself after a while and was able to catch his own food. And Bob actually grew up throughout the years to actually be a confirmed female. So Bob was actually turned to Bobby the tarantula. And unfortunately, I had just checked on this page um, recently to make this video because I, I remembered this from so long ago that this was such an inspirational story. And uh, Bobby, the tarantula, had actually lived eight years, was a confirmed female, and unfortunately they passed away um, in 2020. So that was like one of the latest updates on the, the page. And I'm sad to hear that. Um, the owner doesn't really know what happened. Uh, if it was a female, it probably could have lived a much longer life than eight years, but Bob seemed, Bobby seemed pretty healthy. So we don't really know what happened, but I do know that because of that tarantula owner's dedication and that tarantula's own survival instincts and will to survive and not give up, um, Bobby, the tarantula, lived far longer than they would have and their story didn't end on that glue trap. So very, very inspirational. I wanted to share that so that you guys understand that even if your tarantula has a bad molt 
and you know part of their legs look deformed or mangled or something didn't make it out completely okay it does not have to be the end don't give up on your tarantula there are so many amazing videos and tutorials and firsthand experiences of other tarantula owners dealing with your exact situation there are more facebook groups of experienced tarantula owners than there ever have been there are more forums there are people out there that can help and would love to help you help your tarantula so please make use of all those resources. And I want you to know that tarantulas are incredibly tough and hardy, despite how fragile and uh, small and light they are. It really seems that with their amazing survival instincts and their ability to just regenerate body parts <laughs> every time they shed, it really seems like sometimes if we are the ones who are invested we just have to give them the care that they need until they can actually heal again and, and make that next molt. Kind of seems like as long as they have water and like some source of food and way to get it into their body, they can almost survive unspeakable things. So I hope you guys found that inspiring. Please check out Bob the Disabled Tarantula's Facebook page. Uh, it might be a, a different name now, but you will certainly find it under that name. And I really encourage you to read through Bob's entire story and look at all the pictures because I think it will really give you a very deep appreciation for what tarantulas can do and, and live through. But also I think it gives us hope for our own tarantulas should they ever be in such a predicament. All right guys, have a good Tarantula Tuesday and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.